realizations to people even if they do wrong things. Can Krishna do realizations to people even if they do wrong things? Yes, if they want to get it. That means see, when we do wrong things, it can be because of weakness or it can be because of wickedness. Weakness means all of us have certain times when we are vulnerable. We have weak moments. So we are already upset by 10 things and then somebody nags us. We yell at them. And then we have to feel bad about it. And she tell me about it. So that is just a moment of weakness. So all of us have some lust, some anger, some greed, some negativity within us. But we also have a conscience. Conscience tells us. Conscience don't do this. And if we do something bad, our conscience makes us feel bad. We should not have done it. And then we go and apologize. Or we try to make amends. So when there is weakness, that means the person doesn't want to do something wrong, but in the moment they become overwhelmed. So if the person has weakness, they basically want to do the right thing, but sometimes they do something wrong, occasionally. Then Krishna gives them realization. Hey, you should have done this way. And maybe when this happened, say if I have had 10 things which have gone wrong for me in a day, I have had a very bad day. And then we know there is some person with whom we just explore. And some people bring the best out of us, and some people bring the worst out of us. Of course, we can't blame them for that. But if we know that some people bring the words out of us, maybe we prevent. So maybe I'll be with this person next day. Today I'm really down, I'll let get provoked. So if we have weakness, that means we don't want to do wrong, and as soon as we do wrong, we feel bad and we try to correct. Then Krishna will give the realization. Krishna will give the realization of how we are going wrong and how we can set things right. But Weakness is one thing, wickedness is another thing. Wickedness means somebody does wrong and then delights in doing wrong. They, they, their conscience is almost dying. It's like say if you're walking on a crowded road and we step on somebody's foot. As soon as we realize we have stepped, ah, oh, I'm sorry, we apologize. But some people, they see, they step on somebody's foot and they see the foot is there and then they bang once more. <laughs> So that is evil. Evil means what? To cause suffering for the sake of causing suffering. Do any of you know people like that? <laughs> you don't, that is too unfortunate. Mm, but there are sometimes people like that. And they hurt for no purpose except they get a sense of power in hurting others. You may have some bullies in school who are like that. So basically, when there is wickedness, that means the person feels bad, person does bad, but doesn't even feel bad after doing bad. <coughs> then they won't get realizations. Because they don't want realizations. See, Krishna sees more our intentions than our actions. Sometimes our actions are just not in our control. But if our intention was never to do that, and we regret doing that, we try to correct ourselves, and Krishna will give us realizations. And gradually we become stronger. Okay. For those who have, who have wickedness, then their realization will be more in terms of consequences. They have learned the school of hard knocks. By the law of karma, they will be locked down immediately, eventually. They are they're setting themselves up for a very, very dark future. But if we have weakness, surely Krishna will give us realizations. And even if somebody has wickedness, if at least they connect with Krishna in some way, and they try to change, then Krishna will help them. 